we go next to step uh, 10, which is the VGA output, and that's actually the last thing we need to solder in. So that's a connector and the remaining resistors. So there's three different kinds of resistors, and they are described on the PCB. And the last thing is the connector. Just as with the serial connector, you need to push a little bit. And here there are 15 little pins. These are the pins through which the signal is going. They're quite close together. But by now you should be an experienced soldering person. And again there's this big pin that holds the connector in place that requires a lot of heat and solder. All right, I guess we're done. Now as you see, because I've held the PCB upside down, that this component has bent a little bit, it's no problem to bend it back. And here we are, a perfect board with all the components.